time is come to call upon the true power of the Heaven's Ward. Fight me if you will, warrior of light. I care not. All who stand against me will be destroyed, be they servants of the darkness or the light. By my blessing shall all men be sanctified, and an endless era of peace begin. Vice and conflict shall cease to be. You reject my divinity, yet what have you to offer my people in its stead? Bitter truth! Virtuous suffering. No matter. If you believe your cause just, I call upon you to defend it with your life.
How can this be? A millennium of prayer and the eye's power combined? And still you stand! It is over then. I had hoped that mine would be the hand to end it. But knowing you, there was little chance of that. It would seem the eye has served you well. them beyond the reach of man and dragon both. With this task accomplished, my toil shall finally be at an end.
Gods damn it, do you always have to cut it so bloody close? It would seem he has done it again. Was there ever any doubt? Let us return to Ishgard. Our friends will be eager to learn the battle's outcome and welcome back their champion. Justinian. I dare say you are the first soul in Ishgardian history to arrive in our city upon Dragonback. This scene shall be remembered for a thousand years to come. As we had feared, the Archbishop summoned the soul of King Thorden and to himself, and thence became a primal. But he and his knights are no more, thanks to the Warrior of Light. Your struggles are not yet over, mortals. Uh, whom do I have the pleasure? I am Midgard Sormer. I have journeyed with Heidelin's champion and observed his deeds in the conflict between man and dragon. Tell me, children of Thorden, do you desire peace? My people have committed unspeakable atrocities against dragonkind, even against our own. Would that we could undo these wrongs, but we cannot. Be that as it may, the future yet presents a chance to begin anew. Our nation has broken free of the shackles of a false faith, and Nidhogg shall lead his kindred against us no more. I doubt not that it will require much effort and perseverance, but is my belief that in time, Ishgard will again become a place where man and dragon may abide together in harmony. I shall remember thy words. Yet be warned, Nidhogg's soul liveth on. His unbridled rage hath claimed for its vessel the one thou callest the Azure Dragoon. Astinian. Doubt not but that Nidhogg will call out to his brood ere long, nor that they shall answer him. Steal yourselves for the true test is yet to come. Come what may, we will never cease to believe. Upon the souls of they who have sacrificed themselves to pave the way for peace, we will never abandon our cause. A thousand year war cannot be ended in a day. It may take generations. What thou dost begin, Thy children must continue. 
Entrust unto them thy hopes and dreams, that peace may reign again and forevermore. I do hereby declare that from this day forth the Holy See of Ishgard shall once more be counted a member of the Eorzean Alliance. Let our nations move forward as one and stand united against the Galian Empire. For the future of Eorzea. For the future of Eorzea! Monument to a noble soul. From here, Lord Orgefon can watch over all of Ishgard. It has been a long and arduous journey, and we have lost much and more along the way. Yet come what may, we must stay true to our purpose and press on. <laughs> That's right, you two! It's high time we got back to rebuilding the Scions. Which means we're going to need money! And lots of it! So ends a glorious chapter in their tale.
However, tumultuous days yet lie ahead for Ishgard. After a thousand years under the yoke of the church, the people take their first tentative steps into the unknown. And though they spy a glimmer of peace upon the horizon, Nidhogg's vengeful shadow yet remains to darken the way. Be that as it may, so long as the young commander of the Temple Knights and his heroic companions are there to guide them, the people may hold fast to hope. The hope that one day, true peace will return to Ishgard, and that man and dragon may live in harmony once more. Let the deeds writ herein never be forgot, that they may inspire generations yet unborn to strive ever heaven's way. So Lahabrea and Igeorm have fallen. Bested by mortals in their attempt to initiate the Eighth Rejoining. That they should be so complacent. And now it falls to me to deal with the consequences. Without intervention, the balance between light and darkness will begin to shift, placing our mission in jeopardy. Eidolon's champion has grown too strong. His might encroaches upon the realm of gods. Equilibrium must needs be restored. The time has come for you and yours to join the fray. Warrior of Darkness. Remind me, why is there no rest for the righteous? Because they care, Master Garland. things they could have picked to play with. That's not a toy, you bloody fools, it's a primal! 